Hello, my name is Kevin Algello and I'm a producer and director for a company called New Earth Films. Now we specialise in adventure and extreme content filmmaking. A few years ago we even did a production on Everest. Now we've been a great fan and advocate of very small, lightweight cameras that allow us to do our job really cleanly and effectively when bigger shoulder cameras can be very restricted. Now, about a year ago, a new camera appeared on the block, the Sony X70, and I have one here. I was really excited when this came out. It had lots of interesting features, and it could have really changed the revolution of how we work. However, I soon discovered it had one big drawback, and that was the narrow lens. When I pointed the camera at a participant and looked through the viewfinder, I almost had to go right on top of them just to capture their full face. However, there is a solution to this problem, and it's called the Zuno WCX80 Compact Wide Conversion Lens. Now, I want to go through you some of the features uh, with this lens, but one thing I would like to say is that it is exceptionally light. It comes in at about 285 grams, and one of the first things I noticed when I mounted the uh, lens on the camera is it actually made the camera more stable and made it more comfortable to hold in my hand. So purely from a practical point of view, the lens already made the camera better, purely from a weight distribution point of view. Okay, so something else that your lens comes with is this rather useful and practical step down or conversion ring. Now what this ring allows you to do is use your camera and your lens with three different manufacturers from Sony, Panasonic and JVC and it will allow you to convert from 62 to 72 millimeters, which will then be quite handy. It's just a matter of then just mounting on the lens like so. And then it comes with a little screw. You tighten up the screw just to make sure you don't want this dropping off. And it'll screw on like so. Now, of course, in the field, I'll make sure this is nicely snug and, 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 and fitting just so. But just for the purpose of camera, that's already a really nice, comfortable fit. And then you're ready to go. I think from my point of view as a documentary filmmaker, the 20% wider coverage is a real bonus. A lot of the filming that we do is in very limited environments. It could be inside a tent, it could even be inside a cave, or something where we just don't simply have enough space. Here I am just doing some practical demonstrations of how the 20% wider coverage actually looks like. So in this example, you can see what you can't see without the lens. Now here we are with the lens on and obviously the vista is much wider and you can see much more detail in a closer environment. Here I am using the same 20% wider coverage, but this time in a wider shot that shot outside. Okay, it's our city landscape, but it does give you an appreciation of just how much more coverage it does give you on that wider shot. I'd just like to demonstrate with you the full zoom through of the lens, just giving you an idea of where you can start and where you can finish with this compact wide conversion lens. The lens comes in at about 500 euros give or take a bit. So put the two together, you have a really good practical solution to enable you to feel more effectively in those very tight and difficult situations. And overall, as I said, it balances the camera out nicely. There's no lens distortion, none that I can see anyway. And overall, I'd rate this 10 out of 10. And we're gonna be using it on lots of interesting and exciting productions over the next coming year. Thank you, and watch this space.